okay in this uh, demo video actually i will be explaining you the syntax for for loop and how it works and i will try to realize how actually the program run in memory so that you have more better understanding in fact for what this code is all about and uh, you, you will come to know about the syntax uh, and how explanation so on the left side first i would like to explain that these are the line numbers uh, it, our program consists of six lines uh, for now and uh, here are here's a syntax for syntax for for loop and uh, uh, i have marked some points in circle and uh, these i will explain why uh, I, what is the significance for that okay let's start first uh, by telling you what's actually loop uh, you may know that uh, loops are used for iteration and uh, you once you want to repeat something uh, like in this program actually we what we are trying to do is we are printing the table of four uh, up till three so for ones are four four twos are eight and four threes are twelve so let's first discuss what will be the output of our, our program it's pretty simple we should at least see four eight and 12 okay so this is the desired output so we are trying to accomplish okay and uh, this is the program that can give us that output okay let's start with the first line so the first line is actually creating an integer uh, and that is named as t and uh, its value is equals to 4 so first uh, let's execute this line in our memory so we can keep the output here 4 8 and 12 this is the expected output of the program and let's start with the uh, memory diagram so we once we are executing it line by line uh, we can understand it better so the first line states that t is equals to 4 so we can visualize in memory there will uh, be some block okay and uh, as you know integer take four bytes or uh, even some uh, cases two bytes it depends upon the computer memory but uh, let's assume that it's a four byte memory location okay so the what computer will do in your program execution memory uh, it will assign a one block uh, of four bytes it will have definitely initially random uh, data but once this line is executed equals to 4, actually it will write 4 in the location and uh, this location will be called T. So whenever we want to reference, uh, we will actually use T and it will be referred to the value that is the 4 in stored inside that variable. And this is the, you can say, ex uh, accessible memory for our program. So if we just uh, give you an overview program run on computer ram okay so once we double click our executable program it is loaded into memory so our, all all the memory is consumed by different programs let's suppose this is the first portion it is taken by operating system after that our program is loaded okay and in our program one four byte block is representing this t so I hope you have got the overall idea how these variables are stored and uh, it is actually stored in the active RAM and it is one location of four bytes and uh, that is called T. Okay, so let's remove this. That was a brief explanation for variable storage, right? Okay, so uh, let's discuss about what this is the next line. So the first line has created a one variable of uh, four bytes and that is called t we have stored four value in it after that actually uh, the for loop starts and it's the syntax of loop that state for then there's uh, initialization of loop variable that is i i is a loop variable and we are initializing it with this one okay so because uh, for uh, for first time actually what we want is four multiply by one is equals to four so uh, we have to start it start it from one okay so this is the initial value and now i would like to tell you the significance of one two three four these are actually the sequences 
because uh, loops can be a bit confusing how they are executed that's why i have marked it in a way that if you go around in a circle you will come to note that this after this line execution line number one in line number two this is the first section that will be executed that i have encircled in large circle now uh, it will create definitely in a similar way another variable so it called i and it will be initialized with one so we have another similar four byte memory and that is have value one now okay after this program will jump to uh, sequence number two or statement number two within for loop on line number two okay what it will do it will compare it like for example uh, i has a current value we can see it from the memory diagram it's one so it will check for this condition one is less than three so if we think of one is less than three yes it's a true statement so important point here is that if this is true then it will go to three okay if it is false it will not execute line number three four and five if you see bracket open bracket close and the line number four is in between this is the complete block that is associated with this for statement and it will be only executed if this statement is true so in our case actually we have checked uh, you can see it here yes it is true so it will go to section number three but i repeat if it was not true it should have gone to line number six and the loop was broken or broken okay so that is the case so but in this in our case actually uh, program will jump to the line number three that's just a opening bracket to declare a block and then it will uh, run line number four that is console dot write line console dot write line is a function that actually writes uh, on the screen or you can say the output screen so it's pretty simple i into t if we take it from the memory diagram i is 1 and t is 4 so that's very simple we can multiply by 1 into 4 and we are getting output 4 so this program uh, at this line number 4 will generate the output so if we write output here and this is the first output that will be printed by line number 4 okay so after this actually once this is printed it will go to line number 5 that is telling that the statements block is now closed and it will now jump to uh, point number 4 so if you see 1 then 2 add 2 it checks uh, for the condition then on 3 condition was true so 3 was performed and now it jumped to 4 so on 4 actually i plus plus will increase the i value of i by 1 so we will just make it 2 because uh, i plus plus statement is equals to actually i equals to i plus 1 so that is uh, i's current value is and always know you should always know that on the right side is executed first and then uh, assigned to the left so on right side if we see i value was previously 1 we have added 1 into it so it become 2 and i is now equals to sorry two okay so we have changed the value of i in memory that is two so now we will compare it again so in comparison section we will write two is less than three and similarly yes it is again true so it will jump it to this now uh, similarly line three will execute it, it will be executed again so we can make somehow this is a circle that will continue until this condition is false so 2 3 4 2 3 4 2 3 4 will continue one will never execute again once one is only once actually okay so uh, now similarly this is pretty simple i already explained so if we see from memory location 2 into 4 so 2 into 4 is actually 8 so i can type the next line similarly line 5 then line number f uh, then section number 4 will the, and again an increment in i so i was now previously 2 2 plus 1 equals to 3 so actually i is now updated to 3 after that uh, this will again go in the same way i will not explain that and it will print out 12 now here's the interesting thing 
after three you know the uh, line states that we should go here and increment it let's increment it so three plus one is four okay so we can may update this value to four and after this if we see uh, now four is less than three four is less than three this is actually now false so once the program uh, st uh, finds that it's false and it should not be executed anymore it will jump to line number six that block is finished now and it will type goodbye so uh, finally we can add goodbye okay uh, i hope you like the video and uh, you have better understanding how for loop works uh, sorry for inconvenience if there was any because i was using a uh, small actually uh, notepad you, you can say it, a small small board to record the video and uh, with my mobile in my one hand so i hope you liked it and uh, good luck bye bye